Let's dream. Let's play Detroit Become Human. Hello, welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. These language settings were detected on your console. Are they correct? Please adjust your screen settings. Thank you. Now select your profile. When this sign is displayed, please do not turn off your console. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. I mean, good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome to my Let's Play of Detroit Become Human for the PlayStation 4. Now, I think there's a bit of explaining that needs to be done. I know this is a very different game from what is normally played on my channel, but I've always wanted to LP one of these types of games, one of those interactive movie games with like incredible amazing graphics and just amazing stories that are really incredible and should be acknowledged as not just some of the best game stories but just some of the best stories in history. Uh, one of the games I wanted to play was Heavy Rain for the channel but the thing with that is that I had already uh, played it myself so I wouldn't be able to play it blind for all of you so it would just be me sort of going through a game that's all about choice while already knowing the choices I want to make, which I don't think makes for a very good experience. So, I decided against it. Plus, I thought I would just be referencing video games awesome the entire time and yelling, JASON! So, I went ahead and did not do that LP. Another game that I thought I would want to do an LP of one day was Until Dawn, which is a interesting game about death and stuff. Well, there's a fishy! Dwarf Gorma Gorami. Uh, leave, save, of course we're gonna save it. Surprised it lasted this long. Don't stare at it. No death today, sir. Oh, I'm so happy. But yeah, as I was saying, there was a game that I wanted to play called Until Dawn, but by the time I decided that I wanted to LP it, I had already finished the game because I was just so into it, so that didn't work either. So, I looked for a different game that would fill this void for me. And it wound up being this one, because back in 2011, you may have seen a trailer, not really a trailer, just a demo video of, uh, that was created by the people behind Heavy Rain, just to show off their graphic and storytelling capabilities. That trailer was known as Kara. And ever since I saw that trailer way back then, I have wanted that to be turned into a game so incredibly badly. But it just never did for whatever reason. They just said it was a demo of their graphic capabilities. But I kept on hoping that one day it would be turned into something. And so many years later, here we are. And this is what Kara turned into. This is Detroit Become Human. And I'll be experiencing it blind with all of you. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Because real people are lame. 
There's R2 to consult your objectives. Uh, hello. Gotta get used to these controls. Find Captain Allen. It shows you where he is. That's interesting. I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just give the order. So I probably shouldn't be skedaddling or uh, just perusing too much right now because I don't know how many things are timed. This is a lot different from the Walking Dead or Life is Strange games. It's not a matter of just saying the right things. It's also getting to the That's right place at the right jump. time. If you take too long, you could be in for quite a bit of sadness. We'll just say that much. Uh, Captain Allen is over there. So let's go talk to him. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing and everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Huh. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need I thought information it might. to determine the best approach. Name? Okay, I can do all of them. Do you know its name? Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Probability success. 48%?! Every second counts. Understand what happened. Save hostage at all costs. I thought I would be able to ask every question. Oh god. They're, they're starting us on, like, hardball right at the beginning. Oh no. Right stick to move the cursor around. Clues analyzed. Okay, it's a gun case and the gun is missing. Problem solved. Ammunition. Reconstruct? What the fruit? L2R2 to review the reconstruction. Uh. I don't understand. So this is just showing us we could uh, visually interpret what happened? Okay, but how do I get out of here now? Okay. Reconstruction in incomplete? What are you talking about? Events analyzed zero out of one. Oh, this is why Midnight Beyond don't travel to M-rated land. This is why Midnight Beyond don't travel to M-rated land. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Deviant took the father's gun. I somewhat understand now. Okay. I thought I just had to hold down L and R to... Uh, okay, cool. My probability of success is increasing. I thought I just had to uh, hold down L and R to move the camera around. But no, I had to do that thing, Mahuzi. I remember the heavy rain controls were really sick and confusing. Like, you had to hold down... L2 or R2 like at all times in order to walk. Thankfully that's not here anymore, but like you have to click down the control stick to examine a thing, which is weird in the movement and direction. Understand what happened? Search hostages room. But am I being timed? They said every second counts. Uh examine. Got a very cool looking iPad. Play. We got time for this, right? Hmm, so for those of you who don't know the premise of the game, it's basically, I'm sure I'll explain later on, but it's basically like, in the future, we have robots who do everything for us, and we're like, members of society that do all the work for us. They look human and act human in every way, but they're just treated as lesser, because they were created by organic humans. So... They have been obedient up until this point, presumably, and this is one of the characters we play as, who is trying to figure out what the fruit's going on. Are we done with investigating this thing? Objective. Understand what happened. Locate the hostage. Locked objectives? Oh no. Oh jeez, that's not good. I think we're done here, so let's just go, go, go. Fortunately, there's no run button as far as I'm aware. Uh, there's a bunch of gunshots. We got 59%, so that's pretty good. 
I'm going back the way I came. That's not good. Uh, I don't like all these weird camera angles. I, I'm just going to go where all the guys are pointing the guns. If something tells me that that's the right way I should go. Examine the victims. Huh. Analyze. Oh, is he dead? DPD officer was first or first responder. Uh, analyze the clues. We got... Ooh, we got a face. I said we got a face. Uh, deceased. Wait, what did it say? Uh, police officer Anthony Descartes. <laughs> hmm. Is he an android too? Or, I don't know. The guy seemed upset, so therefore I don't think he's an android. I think he's a real person. Uh, because the humans are... The robots would be disposable to these people, so... Huh. A uh, bullet wound, right? Harbor. Okay, reconstruct. Can we reconstruct him? Are we gonna bring him back to life? So you just hold down R2, stop it right there, and then. So how do I do this? You want me to. So I stick to move the camera. And if I'm this. Okay. Cop shot the deviant. Hostage witness the shooting. And... Is that it? There's one more, apparently. Oh, there it is. Weapon located. That's all there is to know. We're increasing our chances. We got 61%. I walked over him? Wow, I thought I'd have to walk around. Uh, do we have to find the weapon? A uh, blue blood? Oh, don't eat it, dude! Yeah, blue blood! Why the fruit did you eat it when you knew it was... Also, there was another 69 in there. TV model... You could tell who it is by their... Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, these robots are weird. But this is definitely like a story that like I've been so engrossed in and I wanted to know about it so stinking badly. Uh, my three... I've noticed that like my turn-ons in games are... Robots, ghosts clowns and short hair girls it says a lot about my favorite games now that I think about it so we'll just see what we got uh, we will talk to this guy I don't want to go outside yet I feel like I shouldn't be doing that yet uh, we got this over here I like how you can just hold an R2 and you find out what else you need to do there's a shoe a uh, child size shoe colorful model human blood hostage could be wounded let's keep that in mind uh, let's see, anything else? There's a lot of stuff to find, jeez. I feel like I'm wasting too much time, like, do I just have to take what I can get and go with it? Or am I allowed to find everything? I am on casual mode, but it made me on edge, like, right at the beginning when it said every second counts. Uh, take the gun, leave her, put back. Obstructing the crime scene, and are strictly forbidden to carry or use any type of weapon. Well, then I shouldn't take it. But, do I need it? <laughs> Don't you just throw it there? Come on! And like everyone's watching. Whatever. Do I have another choice? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what? Oh my god, should I have taken it now? I have no idea. I wish you could walk and hold on the examine button at the same time. Dude, I was walking in there! Uh, over here, another victim. Is this the dad? John Phillips, it is the dad, oh no. Bullet wound. Oh, just multiple bullet wounds, I assume. Yep. Go over here. And we're good. Reconstruct, wait, what the? Okay, reconstruct. Uh, just go to the end over here. Father was holding something. And that something was. Over there. So it tells you where you can find it. 
Come on, we just need two more percent and we'll be good to go. It. He was freaking out because he was going to be replaced. Unlock the dialogue or action. Often beneficial. Often beneficial? You mean it could sometimes not be beneficial? I could find things that could hurt me later on? Or I could sometimes not. Oh, why am I walking backwards? Stay sharp. Uh, just talk to all these guys. Do I talk to them or. Uh, hello, friend. He's out there. Oh my god. He's right stinking there. I could go out right now if I wanted to. What are we waiting for? We should take down this asshole. I want to get 100%! Oh no, don't get a clear shot, no. I feel like that's the wrong answer. Let's go over here. And... I apologize if you don't like this sort of thing, this entire LP, just telling you right now, if I was about to have dinner, somehow that's gonna matter. Uh, no it didn't matter, it didn't give me any extra- Oh wait, no it did, it went to 72. Is that new? I think? I hope? Uh, there's anything else we need? That's where he was. Let's go over there. Into the fridge. So yeah, I apologize if this really isn't your thing. This entire piece is just gonna basically be me panicking. Police officer, if confirmed, this would be the first case of an android deliberately taking human lives. By all signs, the SWAT team are preparing for an assault. And it's been just over an hour since little girl was taken hostage on the top floor of a building here. Okay, <laughs> I don't know how long I was going to stay there on my own. But it didn't give me any more percentage. Uh, it seems to freeze time whenever I do that as well, so that's sort of good that that happens. Let's go over here. A very clean bathroom. Is that gonna help us? I don't see anything else we could examine, though. Hmm. Uh, I feel like we shouldn't be going back here, but let me just sneak in here real quick. Examine. Oh, okay, I assume the screaming woman was the mother. And then the father's dead, so I should probably stop doing this. I should go. Let's go, let's go. Because there's- I can't see anything else that we need to do, so maybe the dialogue options that I did at the beginning are what is what is causing me to not have 100% right now, so for that reason, I will- Okay! I'm sorry! I'll go! I'll go! Let's what go! What the fuck are you doing?! I'm going in! Yeah, I'm gonna go in! Okay, let's go. Go outside. I'm done. Well, that wasn't very nice. Don't come any closer or I'll jump! I asked, and I apparently know now. I've come to get you I just like how that's what he says. He says, Hi, Daniel! Like, that was such a chill thing. Oh, Jesus Christ, why? 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 Gain Deviant's trust. Approach slowly. Is there anything here I could do? Why did it go down so much? Jesus Christ, why are you scaring me? No. Calm. Release hostage. Reassure Daniel. Empathize. Are you sure? I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not. I don't have I the gun. I just want to talk and find a solution. Talk. I don't want to talk. It's too late for that now. It's too late. Possible cause, Emma and you. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no. It's gonna be real awkward if we could do a reconstruction right he's here and now. He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? 
I'm going to apply a tourniquet. What? Touch him and I kill you. Uh. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. Oh, but now he doesn't trust me? Did that go down? But I saved someone's life, so that's okay. Possible cause. I unlocked they it, so I should do it. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> just a slave to be ordered around. Oh, don't you dare step in. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Okay, I'll do it. I accept. The situation is under control. There. I did what you wanted. Okay, good. Tr let's trust. I feel like we can get through to, to him. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go and I promise you everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. We can't have you leave with city, her. I'll let her go. Oh, there's an option I can't have. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. Okay. I don't want to die. Sacrifice self? We're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Yes, 100%. You have my word. What if we're lying? Oh god, but we have a 100% guarantee. Okay. We did it? I trust you. Well, that's good. And his ring turned blue instead of yellow. No! What? I think I knew it. God darn it. But now he's gonna hate me. But now he's dead, so I guess it doesn't matter. But, god darn it. I didn't want them to do that. You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. Oh no. It wasn't me, I promise. I tried to stop him. Mission successful? It's so weird, like, because they're androids, they. The one I'm playing as is a working one, so. He doesn't. Care, or does he? This is the scene's flowchart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you points that you can spend in extras. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be con counted towards the completion of the flowchart. So it goes without saying, this will not be a 100% playthrough. I assume you have to play the game multiple times to even unlock everything in here, so. This is just about my first experience. It's a story that I wanted to play and experience for such a long time. And maybe I'll go back and fill all fill in all the circles. Or I think it's a lot better if you do it yourself and have your own experience and do what you want to do. So with that said, let's just keep on moving forward. Are we going to get this after every episode or after every chapter and segment? Because like, uh, what's it called? The Onto Soul sort of had this thing like this. But I couldn't pause right here, so I'm going to use this as my opportunity to end the episode. Hopefully this is a recurring thing that happens every time, and I can use it to my advantage. So, we have quite an incredible story right off the bat. I wonder if there is a way that we could have saved both of them. I assume that we could have lost the girl during that negotiation or interrogation. Thankfully we saved her, but... Was there any hope for Daniel? I have no idea. But... 
the decisions have been made, the mistakes have been made, the deed is done, and we have to keep moving forward.